could you imagine a day without thinking about the delicious food sounds funny right because chances are even before we have finished these presentations many of us will be feeling quite hungry and be thinking about our next meal but have you ever thought how does the fruit form yes you are right it depends on pollinators nuts strawberry jam apple pie tomato ketchup and of course honey all of these rely on pollinators when i am talking about pollinators what comes to your mind is it only the bee no any animal who encounters different flowers and carry pollens to another flower is a pollinator they depend on attractive nutritional flowers for their food but with rapidly changing world they are facing big issues due to loss of habitat and floral resources so let's discuss about the special connection going on here we all know the value of good relations and a nutritious varied diet this is where my phd comes in i'm trying to shed new light on one of the oldest relationships in nature that is between plants and their insect pollinators more specifically i am trying to look at how landscape scale floral diversity influences local pollinator communities for this i set up an experiment where i have been comparing monoculture canola fields with the sites having a multiple other co-flowering crops including attractive ornamental plants and yummy fragrant spices like cumin coriander and chili and interestingly my results are good news because i found that high diverse edo ecosystem support more diverse pollinator communities with greater number of bees flies and butterflies overall you might be thinking that canola itself is a very attractive crop with bright yellow flowers so that means pollinators and canola could live perfectly well as a happy couple yes i agree that bees love canola crop you can see them buzzing around happily doing their job but just like us our pollinator friends don't like eating just the same thing day in and day out and feeding on just one species doesn't assure a balanced diet for them on top of this relying on just one type of pollinator is always risky because we can see how honey bees have been brought to their knees by the varroa mite across australia in such situations diverse pollinator communities act as an insurance for pollination services so how can we get this insurance well don't worry my research shows that high diverse ecosystem can perfectly do this job for us so diversity isn't just the spice of life it's the key to what's on the plate of food you are still thinking about for your next meal thank you